Hello classic camera fans. Today I want to talk about something something related to uh, film developing. How many times were you in a situation where you wanted to develop um, film and you didn't know how to develop it or you didn't know the developing time for it? Well, the answer is probably never. Because in today's world, you can just log in, in on the internet and just check the developing times out or use the developing times uh, from the manufacturer's uh, box, on a film box. But what if, what if you bought film and the manufacturing, manufacturer doesn't provide developing times for your developer? What, what do you do? Yes, you can test the film, you can take exposures and then guess the developing times and go from there. But there's one method. Uh, I've heard, or I've read rather, that this method was uh, shared by an American photographer, a war photographer, with a Russian war photographer after World War II. And it's very very simple method. Let's say you, you have this film and I happen to have bought a uh, film for my Graphlex 3x4 and when it originally came the yeah, manufacturer didn't provide uh, developing types for it. Well, I had to look online, I had to ask questions and it took me a while to finally know what, um, what developing times are for this film. But I got it, and it's roughly eight and eight minutes, eight and a half minutes. There's one method, and I'll show you what it involves. You, you take this film, you take a piece of film, it doesn't matter, this is a sheet film, but you can take 120 or a liter off of a 35 millimeter, and you cut it off. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to cut a couple strips, roughly 5 16, 3 8 wide quarter inch, doesn't matter, I'm going to cut two strips. And what you do with this, if you notice, there's a green side and there's a motion side. Green side is the anti halation layer or surface and this is the motion surface. And here I have uh, mixed my developer. It's a rotanol uh, version of uh, developer and it, I mix it 1 to 50 because that's normally what I, will, what I would dilute it to when I would develop film. So I mix just a little bit, I mix only 250 milliliters and I keep it cool in this uh, water here. And what you do with this is very simple. You take this strip, okay, and you notice how, I don't know if you can see it with this camera because I got a new camera. It, it, how, how gray it is. It's got this gray color to it. So what do you do? You take this strip and you dip it into your developer about half, halfway. And what will happen is the film, the piece of film will turn light gray. It will lighten first and then it will start darkening. When it goes back to the darker stage, what you'll do is match the colors. First it will be lighter and then it will start getting darker darker and, on, and when it matches or oh, I forgot about one important step you have your timer and you set your timer and you start your, your stopwatch and you, stop, you start it when you dip it in and then when these two colors after it starts getting darker will match you stop the stopwatch. Whatever the amount of seconds is, let's say 30 seconds, okay? You divide that by 3. And that will give you your developing times in that developer at that temperature for this phone in minutes. So let's say 10, 30 divided by 3 is 10, so 10 minutes starting point for your developer. From there, this is a good starting point. So from there, you can practice. You can either make it, uh, you can just. Um, extend the time or decrease developing time depending on your first um, your first results. 
So I'm going to do it so the camera so you can see what's going on. Grab a stopwatch and then you'll see what's what's happening. Okay, I'm back. I got my um, stopwatch. I got my developer ready and I got the film strip. Notice how great it is. It's about roughly uh, it's like light medium gray. So here's what I do. Get this stopwatch. Happen to my darken timer. And um, I dip the film in while I start the stopwatch. Now see how lighter it got? It got pretty light. So now I'm waiting for it to turn dark again. And I'll be 20 some seconds. So I'm just checking. Checking. Okay. You see? It's about it's about equal, it's about even. You see that lighter spot between them? Okay. That's uh that's where how it originally turned it turned light gray and then turned darker. So my timer read 26 seconds. Now I'm going to use my uh, mathematician brain and 26 divided by uh, 3. That's what? That's about 9 minutes? That's about 9 minutes. Right? That's about 9. So roughly. So it means that starting point for this film and this developer is about nine minutes and that's about right because um, nine minutes is where I would, um, I would I would develop the film for nine minutes to get decent results and then you can either decrease it or increase it depending on what you want to do and we're going to do it one more time you could, it's it's good to do it a few times to get an average and that will be a darn good average. So I'm going to do it again. Notice how great it is. Start the timer. And we're measuring. Or metering rather. Or measuring, I don't know. Again, it's pretty darn close, isn't it? Well, we got 26 seconds. So there, again, it's pretty close. Uh, 21 would be 7 minutes. Um, yeah. 30 seconds would be 10 minutes. So 26, 27, that's about 9 minutes. And you can do for the hell of it. We're going to do one more. I wasted this sheet anyway, so for the science of uh, for this uh, scientific project, we're gonna try again. Start. Keeps going, keeps going. It's pretty close, if you ask me. 27 seconds. So we're still about 9 minutes. It's pretty darn good. This old method is pretty darn good. Um, I'm going to check the temperature because I think the temperature might be rising. Yeah, my 
temperature is uh, about one and a half degree warmer, so I should be um, the time should be a little bit different. But that's still that's still pretty good. Nine minutes is what um, is what you want to develop this film for. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so I hope this um, this video was helpful and you've learned something new. Uh, if you did, um, leave a comment. If you didn't, also leave a comment so maybe I can learn something. Because I don't never, I never claim to know everything. Well, anyway, so all you need is a piece of film that you plan to develop and your developer that you plan to use. Whatever it may be, it may be um, water just turned green. Um, you can use a horse urine, I've heard about that, and you can use um, rotenol, or you can use developer you make out of coffee, vitamin C, and baking soda. Anything, you know, hopefully it will work, because I know it works for this, and I know it works for other films I've tried. And, um, yeah. I hope this, this this will help you. Let's say you're in a desert and you have uh, all you have is a gallon of rotenol and this film you found somewhere I don't know in Morocco and you're in the middle of the Sahara Desert and all you have is a gallon of water. You have to develop the film, so you just you just don't know the times because you bought the film in Morocco from. From the guy at the uh, at the uh, um, camera place there, and he makes his film at home, and he doesn't know the developing times. He never heard of rotenol, and you happen to have a gallon of that in your. Why would you have a gallon of that? And then you just test it in 150 degree temperature and see how it works. If it works, it works. And I I bet you it'll work. It will get usable pictures on negatives. So leave a comment and I'll be posting this video in a bit and leave a comment. I'll leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you leave thumbs down, please leave a comment while you do that so I can improve and be helpful. Alright guys, so until next time. Good luck.